In order to participate in the GOP presidential debate, each simple-minded candidate must sign a little pledge to once the candidate gets chosen, they'll shut their mouth and hold their nose and back that candidate completely and speak of them only sweetly. If Republicans nominate Lucifer for president, which they have done a few times in the past, they all must acquiesce and say we love him, yes, although he is a real horse's ass. If Republicans nominate Satan for the White House, because they have no shame, morals, or pride, and don't value free speech, they pledge every and each that they'll cast all independent thought aside. Though this may sound both brainless and hypocritical, from GOPers, it's what we expect. Their candidate may really be dumb shittical, but who are they to comment or reject? If Republicans name Beelzebub as their leader, they'll politely wring their hands and gnash their teeth and just sigh and say, oh well, while marching off to hell, cause there's little in this world they're not beneath. That's true. <laughs>